if you have a PS2, an official hard drive, and you would like to update your icons to match what's in PSBBN's uh, new update, we're going to show you to do that on a formatted PS2 without PSBBN. I should also mention that this tutorial is using a docking station and a solid state. Now, before you even try this, you have to have installed your games using HDL Batch Installer. If you haven't, you have to use that. So first things first, we need to download HDL Batch Installer. What we're going to use this for is installing our games, which we won't be discussing on this video. Go to this link and download the latest version. Go to Cosmic Scales icons, which are used within PSBBN. And we want to get this folder here, the ICO folder. This is where all the icons are stored. So if you click on code, download zip. And the last thing we need is the icons.ini file. I've updated the icons.ini file to connect to databases icon files. And it will match them instead of the ones that come with HDL batch installer. We have to load HDL Batch Installer to make sure that we have the icons downloaded from their set, which we're then going to change. So we're going to be changing them to the DVD versions. Download packages. What will happen is it will then download their version of the icons. So after that, come out of it and go to commons. This is the icons file that's downloaded. So what to do is paste your new version of the icons in and it should look like this. After that, you go into this folder, the ICNS, and we're going to delete all these because they don't match our icon file now. Once you've done that, let's copy this over. Once you've done this, we want to go back. Now, then this is the point where you should have your solid state connected into your docking station. And then we click on search for the hard drive. Now, you might have to manually find it. It should hopefully find it straight away. But if it doesn't manually look for it, Make sure you've got the right hard drive as well. We're going to click on browser and we're going to get list. You click on the first one, you drag down to the bottom, you left shift click and highlight the whole lot. You then click on load custom icon. As you'll see here, it says found custom icon and you basically just have to wait for that to update all your icons. Once the process is finished, next thing is to boot up the PS2, go up to browser and then go to your hard drive and then hopefully you will see DVD icons.